So, pull-ups, pull-ups, pull-ups. Everybody wants to do pull-ups to get some back gains and some width. In this video, I'm gonna be explaining, should you be doing pull-ups? And if so, how do you do it right? Okay, so the big question is, should you do pull-ups for back gains or back strength, right? Absolutely, pull-ups are probably the best exercise for that getting that width in the back. Now, many people fail to do pull-ups right. They're just focusing on going from point A to point B. So struggling and getting themselves up any means possible. This is not what we wanna do, guys, okay? You can see I'm gonna be demonstrating two ways to be doing these pull-ups. The first way is gonna be the incorrect way. All right, and that's gonna be me rolling my shoulders forward a little bit and pulling my body up. This allows my biceps to do most of the, the work, pulling myself up. Okay, you will get a good bicep workout, but we're not trying to get a bicep workout, right? We're trying to get a lat workout. We're trying to get a wider back. Now rolling the shoulders back and keeping the rib cage lifted up throughout the movement is extremely important, even on the bottom of the stretch, because this allows the lats to stretch out okay and not the shoulder joint too much all right if you're doing a full extension and you're you're relaxing your rib cage down you're gonna get a lot of pull on your rotator cuffs which is not good so the correct way of doing this is keeping that rib cage up and pulling your body through with your lats squeezing your scapula on top if you can keep this position throughout eight ten reps slow movements then you should be doing pull-ups if you can't keep this form right I would switch to lat pull downs first and get the, the technique and the form perfect because you're gonna see more growth with that exercise versus pull-ups. You see what I'm saying? So just keep that simple tip in mind when you're doing these pull-ups. Are you doing them correctly? Are you filling them mostly in your lats and not in your biceps? If you are, then keep doing them. Maybe even trying to add a little weight belt um, to decrease the reps so it gets a little harder. And that's it guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. Uh, as always, quality before quantity, and stay consistent, and let's do this. Thanks for watching.